We're in the book of Psalms, Psalm 53 to be exact. The Bible says, The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Every one of them is gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Now we'll go to the New Testament to show you the reference there. Romans, the book of Romans, chapter 3. And we'll begin in verse 10, right here. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seek after God, seeketh after God. They are all or they are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues they have used deceit, the poison of asps is under their lips. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness, their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. So there you have what the King James Bible says about atheism. God doesn't think too highly of atheists. People that uh, go out and they say that uh, there is no God. The Bible calls them fools, and that they are corrupt and abominable. And when you study thousands of years of the history of mankind, you will see that uh, whenever people give up their belief in God, they soon degenerate into a animal-like state, which is funny because atheists teach that they are animals. They're just another mammal, mammalian species or something like this. So uh, they really shouldn't get offended by me calling them animals because they confess it themselves. Funny how that works. But uh, I did a video a number of years ago about the thing, the fact that atheists are just actually Luciferians. They, um, the satanic philosophy that Satan came out with in the very beginning in the Garden of Eden. That's actually what atheists believe. They believe that they can determine what is good and evil. That they can be their own standard of morality. And um, that's pretty bad. You see, the problem is, when you are an atheist, you believe ultimately the biggest issue with athe atheism is you don't believe in judgment of any kind. You don't believe that there is a judgment coming whereby you will have to stand before your Creator and give an account of what you've done with your life. Uh, that's a big problem. Uh, because it leads to people that say, well, if, as long as I don't get caught, I guess it's not bad. Um, I can make up my own opinions, my own feelings and whatever, and I'll never be judged for it. You know, and these are the same people that will get angry at a Christian and say, you're so judgmental. Stop judging me and whatever. Why are you being worried, or why are you so worried about being judged? Because you're corrupt and abominable. That's why, as an atheist. Um, again, no absolute moral standards. Well, who's to say? Uh, you with your standards and whatever, your Bible-thumping standards and things? Well, I have my standards. I can make up my own mind, you know? Um, no absolute moral standards. Well, we don't need the Bible to define morality. Oh, well, yes, you do, actually because your scientific theory, scientific theory of evolution, actually states that uh, the fittest will survive, and that death, and be it through murder, or genocide, or infanticide, or euthanasia, or any of them, abortion, whatever else, that's all a good thing, according to atheism, um, and evolutionary philosophy. It's all a wonderful holy and just thing for the religion of atheism. And it is a religion too, by the way. You say, well, but what about what church people do and whatever else? Well, um, there's also religious atheism. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, are in organized religion, be it Catholic or Protestant, or, you know, you get the cults like Islam and, you know, Buddhism and whatever else. And they do all sorts of evil as well. You see, they don't believe in judgment either. Oh no, there's a Catholic priest. They'll talk about judgment. They'll talk about judgment. Yeah, and then they go molest a child. Um, no, it doesn't work that way. You see, you can profess to believe in God, but in works you deny Him. The Bible warns about that in the book of Titus, chapter 1. Um, there's a lot of people that profess that they know God, but they deny Him in their works. They don't have a changed life. They don't have a life that resembles a first century Christian or a biblical Christian. Let me say it that way. Um... When I say first century Christian, I mean the practices of Scripture. Not that you have to, you know, have a horse and walk around in sandals or something wearing a robe. 
that's not what I'm talking about. Please understand what I'm saying by that. But yeah, there's a lot of people that are religious and yet atheists. Lots of them. Uh, I've met quite a few of those over the years in my time of being in ministry. Um, you know, evolutionary philosophy. I have another little thing written down here. Evolutionary philosophy brainwashes children and turns them into criminals. Well, who cares? Who's to say that it's wrong to rob a bank? Who's to say it's wrong to rape? Who's to say it's wrong to murder somebody or, or carjack or do whatever else? All the crime that's going on in this country right now is a result of atheism. I'll tell you that. Every single one of them. You say, well, there, I, there was one. I can prove a case where I, you know, because atheists, they'll do this. They'll say, well, um, yeah, let me just ignore the hundreds of thousands of stories over here. And I can, if I can find one case of a church person that's out there and does something, then see, they're, they're no different than atheism. Well, um, you know, what about the Catholics, the wars that Christian people have started and whatever? How about communistic atheists? Killed far more than any kind of organized religion ever in history. But uh, let's just go with this thing of, okay, we found a case where a Christian killed somebody in cold blood and they were, you know, they murdered or they did rape or they stole or whatever else. Did they believe in God when they did that? No. No. You say, but the Catholic Church, they, they've murdered heretics down through the years. Yeah, uh, you know, Protestants, you know, heretics like me. Um, I don't think they murdered too many atheists. Uh, unless they needed to eliminate some of their competition. But, um, but okay, we found uh, this case where organized religion killed, you know, heretics or something like this. What about that? Okay. Did they get their authority from the scriptures to do that? No, they didn't. You'll never find one place in the New Testament where the Lord says to his disciples, I want you to go out and kill people if they refuse to convert. If they teach heretical things and whatever else, then you take them and you burn them at the stake. Torture them first to see if you can get a recantation, but if you can't, then uh, burn them at the stake. Perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. You're not supposed to have any mercy for them. You'll never find that in the New Testament. So uh, if you want to know what's wrong with this country, it's atheism. You say, well, that's nonsense. Atheism, atheism is a small movement. Uh, no, atheism is a very, I'll say it this way. Atheism is a small movement of people that are actually dumb enough to profess that they don't believe in God. Uh, but there's a lot more intelligent people out there that actually profess that they believe in God, but in works they deny Him, thereby joining your ranks as an atheist. Uh, don't give us credit as Bible-believing Christians, you know, King James Bible believers. That's my group. Um, <clears throat> Don't give us, don't try to blame me for religious murderers and whatever else because I can show you from the scriptures that they're wrong and that they're lost. They're not truly saved. I can show you that. Well, that's just your interpretation. No, it isn't just my interpretation. It's plain, rational, common sense. You read the New Testament, it doesn't say to go out and kill people. Here's people that claim to be religious and Christians and they're going out and killing people. They're not Christians. You see how that works? Very easy if you're honest. But most atheists are not honest. They're liars. They're corrupt, abominable, wicked devils. And uh, how do we get America back again? How do we make America a great place again and whatever else? And how do we lower crime? Stop teaching atheism. Get atheistic evolution out of the schools. It's been in there long enough. Look at the fruit that it's produced. Get back into the 1800s. I mean, atheism, atheistic evolution is a lot older than that. I realize a lot of the philosophers and whatever, but the mainstreaming of it, where you have it being taught to children that dinosaurs lived billions of years ago. Wow. Hey, we found a dirt or we found a, a bone in the dirt and we know what its skin looked like. We know what kind of things it ate by that. And we also know it made sounds or something. <laughs> What's witchcraft? That's all it is. Bending, shaping, changing reality. And you call it science. Uh, it's not science. Um, atheism should be outlawed. Should be outlawed. Um, people need to be taught about the judgment of God. And they need to believe in the judgment of God. That's the way it is. Uh, well, we're not going to do that. We just want to give people freedom to be mentally ill. Okay. Um, do you want people to be free? Mentally ill and free that are driving uh, uh, public buses? Taxi cabs? Do you want people to be free that are mentally ill 
and have them up flying airplanes, commercial planes? How about people that are free and mentally ill in the government making decisions and policies? People that are atheistic, atheism is mental illness. I mean, look out here. This all happened by chance. Some random explosion billions of years ago. You're a fool. You are a fool to believe such nonsense. And you can run from God all you want to. He'll get you. Well, I've been running from God for 90 years. He'll still get you. And God will let atheists like that a lot of times live for a long time. And uh, come up with all your foolish questions and all your foolish little attacks on the Bible and whatever else. And God will let you live like that so that you can mess up other people. Because he's judging them as well as he's judging you. So, just get a little bit sick and tired of all the atheism out there. Especially within professing Christianity. That's the worst part of it. I mean, I, I have a little bit, tiny little bit more of respect for uh, people that claim to believe in science and, and are atheist. You know, I, I have a little bit more respect for them. But the people that uh, claim that I'm a Christian and I, the, the Word of God is my authority. You say, what is the Word of God? Oh, any one of 200 different contradicting versions. <laughs> uh, no, they contradict. Okay, well then the Greek and the Hebrew. The Greek and the Hebrew. Singular, definitive article, the, in front of singular word, Greek New Testament. You didn't say New Testaments. Uh, no, there's over 40 Greek texts out there. Uh, 27, or no, 28 editions of the Nestle's, Nestle Lalonde text. Um, there is no such thing as the Greek text. That is nonsense. You have to define what the Greek text is that you're using. And if you're defining it by the Greek of the Nestle Lalande, it's based on less than 1%. I mean, it's there are receptus type of you know manuscripts in there as well, but they're the critical text, the text that uh, basically changes what was there in the received text that underlies the King James Bible, primarily underlies the King James Bible. Um, that Greek text is based on less than 1% of extant Greek manuscripts. Well, um, I believe in the Strong's Concordance Greek. Oh, that's the majority text by Hodges and Farstad, the one that blends Receptus and Alexandrian readings together. Uh, you know. And, and okay, if that's your standard, if Greek and Hebrew is your standard, is that the Bible that you use? You professing Christians out there, do you use the Greek and the, New, and the Hebrew? Greek, New Testament, Hebrew, Old Testament, do you use that? You try to tell somebody how to be saved or whatever else, like you even know, and uh, come out and here, let me show you from the Greek and the Hebrew. You still have to translate it. Why don't you rely on the translation that God has blessed for over 400 years? Oh, yeah, well, we know better now. I've, I've watched the tattooed freak James White, and he's taught me all about why the King James Bible is not God's word, and he says it's a cult and whatever else. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, listen to the tattooed freak. The tattooed freak that, uh, quite frankly, doesn't believe in God. Unless he's uh, talking about the God in the mirror. Then he believes in that one. Um, because he has no higher authority on this earth than himself. And his mind. Ask him. Ask him to hold up a perfect standard. The perfect word of God that does not need to be updated or changed or altered or anything else. Ask him to hold it up. He can't do it. I put that challenge to him years ago, and he made a little snarky little video making fun of Brian Dellinger. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Never held up a perfect standard because he can't. He has none. So all you little modern Christians out there that, that uh, follow the modern textual stuff and whatever else, um, you're atheists. The uh, government comes out and they say, uh, shut your church building down. And you did. Uh... Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. All this, you know, modern CCM junk. And, uh, and yet, your God wasn't so awesome that he could protect you from something that had a 99% uh, recovery rate. <laughs> You're an atheist. And I remember literally a secular doctor, Dr. John Bergman out in California, and he said, he said, why do these churches shut down? And he said, maybe they're not really Christians after all. Maybe they're atheists. Ouch. Check yourself. Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. The Bible says to prove your own self. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 talks about it. You're supposed to know. 
that you're saved. You're supposed to be different than the lost world. You're supposed to believe in judgment. You're supposed to believe in the absolute authority of the scriptures. So, hopefully you've been challenged out there. Hopefully somebody's gotten their brain rattled a little bit and they can start to think for themselves a little and they start to think, yeah, you know what? I don't like the issue of judgment and maybe that is why I'm rejecting. Wake up before it's too late because judgment day will come. It is appointed unto men once to die and after this the judgment. You better remember that. Thank you for watching.